What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am of course CM Puma and wherever you may be and however you may be watching, thanks for making this video part of your day. So as you can see, we're in here with Stephanie. Uh, Puma lost the beard, got a little goatee thing going on. Um, in the last one, we faced off Kev against Kevin Owens at Hell in a Cell, won the United States Championship. And after that, Vince said, well, maybe you should go look into cashing in your briefcase. So it acknowledged that we still had the briefcase, which was nice. Um, and then we went in and talked to Stephanie. We had the option to talk to either Stephanie or Mick. And we chose Stephanie being a company man. You're too busy all the time, Mick. And um, I told her I wanted to cash in, and she says, well, pre she pretty much said, well, good luck with that, which didn't set easy with me. If no one takes you down this month, count on me doing so. Can I fight him? I want to see Mick run off. That's really what I want to see. So it made me a little uneasy after Steph said that. But we are the United States champion. We are the Money in the Bank briefcase holder. What does Todd have to say? You look like a man on a mission. Something happened? Cutting a promo. That just... Puma, right to it. Cutting a promo. Okay, man. You look pretty serious. Not getting in your way, though. Mics are primed and hot, and go get one. So score 100 on the promo. So, something I found out through watching Big Red NY, that um, if you just choose the same line, 1, 2, 3, or 4, every single time, it's a, it's a decent promo anytime. I will demonstrate. Test, test, test. Vibrate, vibrate, vibration, vibration. Mm. You know what this is about. This is going to be awesome. This could honestly be about a few things. Let's find out. Puma's out here with the mic. Looks pretty pleased with himself. All right, so let's see. Warning to the champ. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment has finally arrived. I know it's certain uncertain when I was coming, but now I am. Oh, where? Okay. So, champ, you paying attention? Got your eyes on your belt? Better check again. That's my belt. That's seeing Puma's name at the bottom of that belt. I'm coming for you, my belt, and that title. And I know I've been keeping something, something. So, look, we'll choose the top one again. And it goes up. Waiting is important in life. Not really That's about not it. a lesson I had in my heart when I came to the WWE. I was impatient. What am I do immediately? didn't have time to sit around what I've learned however is by putting an anchor in the moment I can appreciate it that much more before I go that time is now I don't even know what that means so we'll choose the first one again and I mean it's just it's automatic along the way I admit I stumbled now and then I don't think that's something embarrassing to admit after all a weakness acknowledged is not so nearly flawed as a weakness ignored thankfully my allies were the ones that helped me stand I knew I could rely on them implicitly, and they paid back that trust. Randy Orton, thank you. Thank you. I want to give back to my support. We'll just choose that one, because that one's weird. No for my word of an ine inevitability and heated advice is simply this. Give up. You should give up without fighting me, because we both know how it's going to end. Me looking down at the crumbled form of your body, my arms in the air, the belt around my waist, for the sake of your fans, something, something, give up. All right, the last word. Uh, this will be my easiest win ever. Jeez. I'm looking forward to the easiest win of my professional wrestling career. The fact that we've heard such a degree of nothing from the champ since I made my intentions known proves how frightened of my superiority he is. It's okay, man. You don't have to be scared anymore. In a little so while, this will all stand. be over. So we do what we were, we're supposed to. We get a 140. Very nice. Hey, says Samoa Joe. Hey, yourself. Oh, that's a good one right here. What's up, yesterday's news? You seem agitated. Yesterday's news? Dude, who do you think you are? What do you think you're playing at? Well, Joe, I'm coming for your title. I mean, I saw it was held by someone else, but now it's me and you. You're supposed to be watching my back, not going for my title. Joe, I, I don't know where you got that impression. Um, nobody said anything to me. My briefcase is getting restless and we're coming for you and your title. Be ready. You do not want to go down this road. Trust me. 
I'll fight you right back here, Samoa Joe. Punch him. No? Talk to him again? You know, if they put us in the ring together, I would squash you, right? Mm. Okay. I see what you're doing. Let's see. Stefan here? Nope. So the way I've decided to do my videos, before I was just kind of doing the videos and however long they'd be and with whatever we were doing. Um, but since there's four weeks in the month and then a pay-per-view, each video is going to be two weeks and then the pay-per-view. So that's what's going to happen. Yes, I'm ready to get my car. Come on. I got to beat up some mojo. All right. Second week of November. Let's go. We got to talk to Todd. Bray, I mean, you guys are just back here. These things are pointless, I think. I mean, they're really only good for starting a... Uh, a um, side mission which we haven't had one in quite a while so there was a side mission that was assigned to us and something happened i think when i switched shows from smackdown to raw and um, it caused the side mission to just not function correctly and i think that's why we got the title shot it just kind of made its way around to the u.s title um, and then it worked itself out. So hold up one second. I don't like the way you just looked at me. You know who I am, right? Of course you do. I'll let you off the hook. You know what? Can I punch Curtis Axel in his stupid face? No. Vince? Nope. All right. I'm, I'm hoping we're not getting stuck in a rut again. Hey, there's Paul. Let's see, is Stefan here? No. Paul, buddy, I need you to be my manager. In a certain way with words, no amount of words will bring you back from defeat. You know what, if you're just going to say the same nonsense over and over. So, you know what's weird is that we're United States champion, but, um, you know, we're on, we're on Raw, not SmackDown. So I don't know what that's about. Take a look here, champs. So SmackDown Live, the United States champion. And I don't, I mean, should I lose the title just to move forward? I mean, I don't know. Let's view the match card real quick. And I can't run in or do anything on any of these people. Todd, please tell me we're not stuck. Hey, man, we made a last-minute decision to defer the match we had for you tonight. What's What are you talking about? Vince liked your promo last week, but he wants to up the ante. He thinks you can stoke the flames to keep blazing. Mike, ready? I assume. Let's light him up. So, another promo. This episode sucks. Oh, yeah, this is going to be good. All right, Let's Puma's back out with the mic. Let's WWE see. Universe. No one can stop me. The briefcase signifies the changing of the guard. We've talked a lot in recent weeks about the briefcase and what it represents. Mostly, it's a ticket to the top, and that's where most people think. That's where most people's thinking on the subject ends. I'd counter that it's far more inclusive. This all signifies the changing of the guard. And our champ has had his glory, but his era is coming to an end. Oh, okay, Samoa Joe. Come on, brother. Get in the ring and let's just finish this. Dude, I tried to tell you this last week. I cannot believe you weren't listening. Oh, I was listening, Joe. I just don't care what you have to say. Now I have to come out, school you, and shame you in front of the entire universe? So be it. There are some hard truth bombs I gotta lay on you, but if that's what it takes, put your mic down and be prepared to listen. All right, let's see. Duh, I'm trying to... S there we go. That's a good one. Okay. The fact of the matter is that I'm not content to languish in your shadow anymore. At first, I was willing to give it a give it difference you're a fellow superstar you've had plenty of laudable accomplishments and you did earn that title that's all worth something but the thing is your desires aren't any worth to me at all jeez Puma. you seem to pretend that it didn't take a lot for me to win my championship this wasn't given to me i was born into it i had to work from the bottom up same as you and rise to the top i earned my title every step of the way i won't stand here and let you besmirch all the struggles I went through to win. You think Samoa Joe says besmirch? I don't think so. Um, let's see. 
There's no room for me behind you. Uh, okay. I find that there's simply no room for me behind you because you got that big old booty, Samoa Joe. Even if I was your most ardent supporter, I'd feel the same way. I'm tired of staring at your back when I want to see what's out there in front of you. I don't like feeling like I'm little when I know it isn't true. I won't play at the kiddie table and be content in it. You hear that, Joe? We're done. No the universe acknowledges me as champion. Who are you? You're still nobody. You missed your money in the bank. Doesn't get you anything unless you win. I'm also United States champion, you monkey. Remember that. It's an uncashed check in your wallet that, for all you know, has been canceled. Oh. That's a plain... Oh, man. I don't like the way that sounded at all. Uh, Let's see. Here we go. Oh, nice. Now that I'm stepping out from your shadow, I can see you clearly. Beyond the mystique and charisma and pomp, I see that you see you as you are, simply one of many superstars. But when we measure my stature and victories and fan base, we find that I'm the bigger superstar in every way. I am a worthier champ than you. Yes, I am, Joe. Yes, I am. Oh, boy. Some people need to be told their place in this business over and over, and still they just don't get it. Won't submit. Because when I'm through with you, that's exactly what you're going to do. Submit to me. Oh, I won't need you to apologize. What I require is your silent obedience and never crossing me again. Oh, man. If we start a submission thing with Joe, that's not going to be good. Um, there we go. Let's see. Oh, man. It's going to be me and... It's going to be you alone versus me alone. That's it. That's how this fight's going to start and end. No cheesy gimmicks, no handicaps, no nothing like that. The original flavor, one superstar against another. That's how things started in this business, and that's how this match is going to conclude. Dang it, I thought that was going to be the last word. Jeez! We might have lost this one. Heavy lies the crown, right? That's something a youngster like you can't fathom. The belt, the title, it's not fun in games. This is real. This has a burden. When I fight, I'm not fighting like you are nightly. I'm always in actively defending this title. I have the stamina. I can take it. I'm left with more questions than answers after that. Damn. What? Well, that I mean, we, if we were supposed to get score 100, not, exactly. not 101, here comes Todd. That was dicey. I came out on top, as always. <laughs> um, okay. I like your vigor, but be careful. The champ ain't no joke. It was hard to take him too seriously. You know better than anyone that he'll do anything to keep that title. Be on your guard. Your public enemy number one. Todd, you know, I just don't care. I hope you like I hope you kill it out there. Good luck. Clearly you're not watching. Cause it's over. Come on, man. Oh my god. There's a whole bunch of people in here. This big dummy. Hey fool. He put you in your place. Good. You know, we've already look how much bigger he is. Jeez. Carl Anderson, you're small, I'll fight you. I wish they'd have you two fight already. Then you'll finally stop whining. You know what? Give me the chance. Give me the chance. I can't fight him. Mick, are you just too busy to freaking talk? Of course you are. Of course you are. What do you got to say, Paul? The same thing you all, you've already said? Let's see. Is Stephanie in here? I mean, I think we're just going to go. So after you're done, I just I don't think there's anything you can do. Roman on your phone in front of the limo, I find that hard to believe. Actually, do I need to get too close to him? He's got like meningitis or something. If you want to climb up the ladder of success faster here in the WWE, always pay your respects to management. Cause you did those things, Roman Reigns, right? Please. Please. All right, well, this wasn't the greatest episode ever, but uh, staying true to what I, what I previously said, uh, two weeks and then we're out. So in the next video, we'll do weeks three and four, and hopefully we have a match in those weeks and then a, a pay-per-view matchup after that. So bring me my car, fool. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're not. We got the next set of weeks coming up. I'll see you soon.